Thanks for joining us tonight. It is the beginning of the end in the second degree murder retrial for a Rochester man. Alexander Weiss has been in court the past week and now the jury has the case. Our KTTC's Barrett Leone joins me live from Government Center with the very latest on this developing story. Barrett, uh, what's the latest? You know, Tom, it's really a waiting game here at the government center. Jurors still haven't reached a verdict, and we're going into six hours of deliberation for this murder retrial. You know, Alexander Weiss shot and killed 17-year-old Muhammad Rahim after a car crash in northeast Rochester in May. Jurors couldn't reach a verdict, and it was declared a mistrial. Today, both prosecution and defense presented closing arguments. Deliberations started around noon, and court reconvened around 3.30. Jurors wanted another chance to look at body cam footage from the day from that from the one of the first officers on scene that day as well as surveillance video from the Rochester Square apartments. Now with the apartment video, jurors requested four specific replays. What passenger got out of Raheem's car first, when passenger Noah Ducart followed Weiss to his car, and when the first-hand witness who was on her way to church arrived and what vantage point she had of the scene. Something to note here, seeing the video myself, it is quite difficult to make out as there was a lot of fog coverage. Additionally, jurors wanted a definition for duty to retreat treat in court. Judge Joseph Chase says there is no quote special legal definition for the term and told jurors to refer to common word definitions. Now there's really no saying and no, or knowing of how long it will take for jurors to reach a verdict tonight. Keep a close look on KTTC.com for updates. Reporting live in Rochester, Barrett Leone, KTTC News.